All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, regular expressions, restrict possible usernames. All right. So usernames are used everywhere on the internet. It's very true. Uh, they are what gives users a unique identity on their favorite sites. So we need to check all the usernames in a database. So here are some simple rules that users have to, probably users have to follow when creating their usernames. So usernames can only use alphanumeric characters. The only numbers in the username have to, the only numbers in the username have to be at the end. Okay, cool. Uh, there can be zero or more of them at the end, all right? And usernames cannot start with a number, all right? Uh, usernames, letters, pardon me, username letters can be lowercase and uppercase, all right? So we'll have to use the ignore case for that. Uh, also, usernames have to be at least two characters long. A two character username can only use alphabet letters as characters, all right? So we'll, we'll make this in a second. So now we're gonna change the regex user check to fit the constraints listed above. All right, so this one's just a little bit confusing, especially for us rookity rooks, but uh, maybe we can get through this, right? So first things first, it's gotta start with a letter. That's what I got out of that. Uh, I don't know, it said that somewhere. User names, this one doesn't say specifically that it has to start with a letter, but it does say it does, cannot start with a number. So let's do that first. So if it's got to start with something first, let's put the caret in there. So let's throw the caret, the shift six right there. And then let's do, because there's no, we haven't learned any like uh, backslash, I don't even know, something for just the letters. We'll have to do a character class uh, set in brackets of A through Z like that. And also while we're at it, let's do a console.log result. Console.log result while we're at it so we can check while we go, right? So, so now it's still false. All right, so now let's see what else we gotta do. So we got the first one taken care of. Ah, and then also it can be any number of zero, it can be zero or more numbers at the end. So let's put, let's put the end right here. And so that would be backslash D for the uh, digits and zero or more of them is the star like that. And it has to be at the end. So it would be the dollar sign like that. Also, let's change this jack of all trades to jack of all trades 777 like that. All right, just so we can have some numbers in there to check as well. All right, so what else do we got? Uh, so now we've taken care of the end of it and we've taken care of the very beginning of it. So now we have to put any amount of letters in between the first letter and if there's digits or not between those two things. So let's put uh, another character class set up like this and let's put another A through Z in there. And then let's put a plus sign like that. And okay, so that's taking care of that, but it still says it's false. Let's run the test and see what's going on right now. Jack doesn't work. Oh, let's put ignore case while we're at it. How about that? I. So it's true, let's run the test. Looks bad. Okay, so Z97 does not work. So let's change this stuff up right here. All right, to Z77, why not? So Z77 like that. And so it does false like that. All right, so now we're gonna have to do something else because this does work for the first one. So we need a second one. So let's put the or in there. Let's put the pipe in there like that. And now we've got an or going on. And so let's make another one. Uh, so now we know it has to start with a letter no matter what. All right, so let's get this, copy that, throw it in right after this, right there. And uh, so it says it's true. It can't be true. It can't be true. Is it true on the test? Oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't use these now. So bad, uh, bad username doesn't work because there's a number in the middle. So we can't do that. Uh, so let's do something else. So let's put the Z, let's put the uh, D at the end. Let's put this at the end, the digits. Copy that, throw it in there, all right? It still does true, but it's still not gonna work for J or A1. Uh, because it should not match A1. So let's put, because we need this 277 to work, let's put, uh, it has to have a second number like this. Let's put a second number in there. Let's put backslash D in there. Still true, let's go. Nope, A1, oh, 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 we, can't, we cannot have this. 
So let's put, instead of the star, let's put the plus. How about that? Let's try that. Plus? Let's run the test. All right, there we go. <laughs> anyway, let's look at it real quick before we go 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 crazy. All right, so uh, it starts with the, the to do the Jack and Jill went up the hill or whatever it was. Jack uh, 777, it uh, is true. So it's it starts with the letter no matter what, which is this. And then it has some letters in between it, no matter what, because it has to be either uh, one or more letters right here. And it doesn't have to have a uh, number, right? It could be just like this and it would, and it would work or just this and it would work. Uh, so that's what that is. And then also we already saw the numbers it work too. So that's good. So also if it's this J7, that will not work because of this, because it starts with, because on this one it starts with a letter and then has one digit, but it has to have another digit or more at the end of it. So J77 thusly does work. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I know it's a little confusing because <laughs> it's the regex for crying out loud. You gotta be, I don't even know who would be a pro at this, but there are people that are really good at this if you go to Code Wars. Uh, anyway, so let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to match white space and we'll see you next time.